Thank you very much. I just wanted to touch on the depot. Mm -hmm. They took a depot that should have cost you eight million. They took it to a twenty-five million dollar depot. Absolutely in excess of what should have been done without the business plan has been mentioned before. And yesterday we read in the newspaper and we found out the justification is spend twenty-five million and you're gonna save a hundred thousand dollars a year. Well in business we look at return on investment. Uh, when you take the $25 million, you factor in the interest, we've got a 40-year return on investment. Who does those? In business, we don't do anything more than seven or eight years maximum for a return on investment. So it is absolutely unjustified and really speaks to the whole character of what happened in this term of council. An Auditor General, as others have characterized it, this is the watchdog. The guy who was watching the pennies and when he would alert us when when there were savings to be found. You know, his office found five million dollars in first year savings. In other words, it's much higher than that, but we only ever count the first year. And so some have suggested, well, we saved money, we got rid of them. I don't buy it, and I hope you don't either. You know, and this year, a deficit. Knowingly passing the budget when you've got those pressures under and not having taken any corrective action speaks to the financial skills or skilllessness of the current council. It's disgusting. I, for one, am not one to say, let General Motors go. We've got a great history. We're still going to have to buy cars in the future. Why not make sure that they're made in Oshawa? But, like the others on the I'm not advocating for a bailout. I'm, I'm advocating that you, GM do the morally correct thing and recognize that Canadians bailed out the company and it must remain here in production after 2016. I hope you take the time to read the brochure of, of mine. On the Riverside, I give a lot of detail of what I believe is uh, going to be correct for Oshawa. But in the meantime, I hope that uh, you will recognize that you have an important duty on October 27th. You're going to set the tone and direction for the future of our city for the next four years. And you need to have a mayor who has a steady track record at the, and a steady hand, helm, hand at the helm. Being mayor, or basically the CEO of the corporation, it's not an entry-level position as some would have us believe. Throughout my career and the 16 years municipal experience, I've learned to cut through the bureaucratic red tape, serve the public, return phone calls, and do my constituency work, but more importantly, implement a strong vision for the community. On the outside, I know everybody sees this as a mean-spirited activity, politics, but I can assure you, each and every one of you, it's actually very rewarding when you can actually affect change and improve our city. On October 27th, I ask you to vote John Gray for mayor.